Hi, I'm Becca, and I'm white, and Christian, and upper middle class, and American. I'm kind of the definition of Westerner, whatever that means. But what does that mean? And what assumptions are you making about me based on all of those facts? I'm Rebecca Farnham. This is Ramblings with Rebecca. And today, we're gonna break down the East-West dichotomy. The wink was weird, wasn't it? Sorry. But what is the East-West dichotomy, you ask? Good question, I answer. Here we go. The East-West dichotomy is used in all kinds of fields, particularly management and business and linguistics and religious studies, I bet as well, uh, to refer to the perceived differences and splits and binary, if you will, between two mega regions, the East and the West. This is also sometimes referred to as the West and the rest. And very broadly speaking, and very problematically speaking, of course, the West is made up of the US, Canada, Western Europe, and Australia. Yes, Australia, even though it is further East than, say, the Far East. But that's okay, we'd hate to, you know, make sense in our problematic dichotomies. Uh, depending on who you ask, uh, perhaps any nation that is predominantly Christian is kind of automatically Western, so therefore Russia and certain parts of Central Asia, slash Central Europe, uh, may also be Western. Uh, for others, it's along much more economic and kind of like modes of capitalism and that kind of thing lines. Um, so problem number one with the dichotomy is that our regions aren't straight. There's a lot of issues defining them and everyone means something slightly different and one country or one part of one country may be in or out depending on a random different criteria. And it's just problematic because we're not all talking about the same thing often. It's also problematic because of course, we're somehow pretending that half of the world is the same as itself. Are you exactly the same person as your neighbor? I'm guessing the answer is no. I'm guessing you're also not exactly the same as the person who lives a hemisphere away. All right, so the East-West economy has a huge problem in that it kind of lump sums one half of the world and another half of the world and pretends they're all the same, right? It ignores a lot of regional hybridity and a lot of the rich diversity that's going on that makes the world a lovely and grand place to live that it is. So there's issue number two, regional hybridity. Issue number three is the fact that when we do this kind of lump summing and mash whole mega regions together, we then somehow give a very small group of people an authority to speak for and represent and become kind of the icon of a huge mass of people, right? So somehow it's like suddenly one specific kind of person in the West is what it means to be Western and Westernized. And one very specific kind of person from somewhere in the East becomes kind of the epitome of what it means to be Eastern. Usually, these folks are fairly elite from their said regions, right? I mean, so now we have huge numbers of people who are making assumptions and understanding a whole class of people based on a very elite small group from that mega region. It's just a problem. It hurts assumptions, it causes all kinds of completely false stereotypes, and just doesn't work well for actual understanding and knowledge. A fourth problem with the East-West economy is that it somehow pretends that these are separate regions that are isolated from each other. We have this completely fake line. Globalization has sped up recently, I will grant you that. Yes, the internet means that ideas travel a lot faster than they have before. But the truth is, the East and the West have never really been completely isolated from each other. There's always been flows of information and goods and people. We're simply not as split off from each other as somehow we pretend to be, right? So an idea that is Western very possibly has Eastern origins. Something that is from the East is almost certainly influenced by the West. Really, it just kind of came from the world, if you will. So the message of today is that one, we're all different, and two, we're all the same. How's that for rambling and confused, hmm?